Um, so you're going to go ahead and make a template of this tracking student progress template and just make a copy and then edit the template. So you're going to put your activity where it says 1A, 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B. You can change all of that. Um, you can change the words if you don't like working finished if you need to. Um, also the status, that's up to you. But once you have that all figured out, you're going to go to responses and you're going to create a Google form. So I have my Google form right here. Then you're going to go to settings and make sure it says edit after submit. So make sure students are able to edit after they click submit. That's going to be very important. You're going to go ahead and preview this as a student. And you're going to go ahead and fill this out. So I'm going to say um, needs help. I am working or I'm finished with 1A. Here is my Google form. As you can see, I am creating conditional formatting and I'm not quite done, so I'm still working on this. Um, but you can see that it's starting to change colors as I am filling out the Google form. You want to kind of copy and paste it because if you don't and you have like a space or something, it is not going to catch that conditional formatting. So to get conditional formatting, you're going to go to format, conditional formatting, and this is going to open up. I've already gone ahead and done the working, finished, and I'm good. So I'm going to show you how to do the rest. I click up here in the corner so it gets the entire spreadsheet. I'm going to add another role. Text contains. And I'm going to do needs help, and I want that background to be this red color. So anytime a student says they need help, it's going to change that red color. I'm going to add another role. Go back to your Google Sheet. I need to do a check me. I like to just copy and paste again just because it will pull exactly, and there's no errors. And you can change this to any colors that you need for um, it to work. So I've got all of my status, all of my 1Bs, so everything should be changing colors. And then we're going to test this out. So I've already done um, this student. So if I just hit edit, so they're going to submit, hit edit. They can then say 1B, I'm working on it. Submit. Your Google form is going to update. The student can then go back in. And they finished 1B so they can hit finish. This allows students to not have access to this tracking sheet and only you have um, access to the tracking sheet. So then you know who to pull for small groups rather than having this sheet where you share with every single student and then it kind of gets messy if a student makes a mistake or if you've got that one student that cannot handle being in a Google form. The only thing annoying with this is students would have to remember to click edit their response to keep their line going. So that would be the only thing you would have to train your students on. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.